Pacers come away with the rebound. Jalen Green gets it to Halliburton. Green, make it Smith, beg your pardon, settles for the three, and he knocks it down. Morris from the wing to the lane to the rim over Barrows off the window, and the rebound goes to Halliburton and the Pacers. You know, if you have an open jump shot, you take it, but continue to utilize the pick and roll and zoo inside. Smith for three again, and he knocks it down. He's got a quick six here for the Pacers who have doubled up the Clippers. When I mean, your name is always sprinkled around about being traded, but they've done a great job of focusing and playing well. It's probably not easy for the front office as you're put in kind of a crossroads here. These two players playing well, your team playing very good. But when you don't have a move and you don't have a shot as the primary ball handler, you move it really quickly and you find yourself with an easy layup. Speaking of which, Halliburton once again finding an Indiana player Isaiah Jackson for, an, for a lot. Reggie Jackson, awkward play inside, loses the ball. Turnover just the first for the Clippers. But as we have seen over and over again, opponents taking advantage of the miscues. Smith with the stuff and the Pacers lead by four. And they try to play back to Coffee. Great defense there by Halliburton. Matherin to heel. Back to Matherin. Tough pass, tough finish, but he lays it up and in. But Rick Carlisle deserves a ton of credit as well for the way this team has played. This player, people deep in the organization are saying one through 17. Norman Powell enters the conversation but misses at the rim. TJ McConnell centers it back over to Halliburton. And I think Matherin may have got a piece of that. And Poe, did they get the shot up? Out there after some excellent minutes from Moses Brown. 43 to 39. Clippers out in front. One out of two for Powell. Smith for the three. It's good. He came in. It just keeps adding to his head banded statistical hey, category. I'll tell you what. Oh, after this point. It's Halliburton and senior, and Halliburton, the third-year pro out of Iowa State, able to lay it in. It's worked for both sides. I do like it when that happens for both teams, especially when, with all the heat that Sacramento caught in that deal. It is Zoo's continual effort and open three were perfect, except for the end result. Halliburton. Uh, he, he's something else. Morris loses the ball, live ball turnover, nobody in front of Halliburton. He takes it to the house for points 9 and 10, 238 to play here in the first half. Well, Buddy Hill not known for his defensive prowess. That time a poor closeout opened up the lane for Marcus Morrison. Now Halliburton controls for the Pacers from the line to the lane to the rim and in. Halliburton now with 12. Morris trying to create space on Turner, cannot do it. Jackson, a rhythmic three from straight away. It's wide right. Most games with 15 assists, zero turn turnovers in the last five years. Brissett, no. McConnell with the rebound. Halliburton, that set shot three. The release is awkward. The results are efficient. I don't know. Oh, this is Sam Jackson. Who is that? Oh, my. Oh. What, what is that? Pulp Fiction? I am <laughs> not Jules Winfield. Oh. Smith down the lane and down the hatch. 842 to play. I am. One thing they're doing, Quinn, they are starting to play better knowing they don't have Paul George or Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, they, they, they really are. They, they have done this before, Chris. They, they've done it for.